In this section, we're gonna talk about the design mode, which is where you can adjust all the visuals and presentation of your resume. So with that, let's dive right in. So in the resume builder, you are gonna to go to the design tab or design mode. And in here is where you can change all aspects of how the data, i.e. the contents of your resume, show up on the resume itself. And it all starts with the template. Uh, the visuals. I mean, actually, there's kind of two parts to it. There's like the styling and the structure. Uh, and we break that out in a couple different ways. And it's not all in the same place. So bear with me as I get through it. So we're going to talk through all the ways to control the visuals of your resume. So a template has the styling. Think of it as color, spacing, and things like that. Things that are more structural can be addressed in a couple different spots. So you start with a base template. And all these settings down below, like the font, say you want something some more Helvetica-like or Times New Roman-like, you can change your font. We start off with Poppins. I like it. It's sort of a nice, uh, you know, crisp font. Uh, line height is the line height of all of the body copy. Now, we make a distinction. Yeah, so you see even like the space between bullets, that's line height. And that controls that, and that's how you can control the height. We defaulted to 120%. List line height is the distance between your bullets. So if you want to make that compact, you can make it the same. Accent color, each template has different things that are affected by the accent color. Uh, so if you want to do a little bit, or if you want to keep it black and simple, uh, or you can pick whatever color you'd like. And then your date format is how your dates show up. Right now it's all years. It defaults to numbers and years, which is what we recommend. Uh, but if you wanted to show the short name, you can. If you want to show the long name, you can. Or just the years, you can do that as well. Uh, that's how you control that. Next is your header alignment. Do you want the header to be in the middle, all the way to the right? Some templates handle this better than others. And so I'll go through the templates in a minute. And then you have your date alignment. By default, the first template has date alignments to the left. Just we read, especially if you're listening here in the, the US or most English speaking countries, um, it's left to right. Obviously, other languages are right to left. We really mainly support English right now. Um, but if you wanted to show the dates on the right, uh, which is kind of original resume templates kind of had it that way, so I'd say it's more traditional, um, you can move them to the right or left. And then same with your locations. Now, what might happen sometimes with location in particular is if you come over to your content and your work experience, if you don't have the location turned on, it won't show up, right? So it's only going to be able to show and move data that's enabled. So you do want to think about the visibility over here and making sure that's all on. So let's come back over to the design. And so that's how you control location. And then your skills layout. If you wanted to show your skills, this is how they show by default, uh, which is a comma separated list. If you have categories, that's how you get this bolding by categories. Watch the skills video if you want to understand how to organize your skills. But this is how you control the visuals of them. If you want them to have bullets or you want them to be columns, the column count is controlling the spacing. If you have categories, each category gets its own column. If you did want to change those, you come back over to your skills section and say they were all non-categorized. We'll just drag those in there real quick. And we'll just turn this off. So now your skills are columns like that. Uh, and then that becomes dynamic if you want to you know, lower that or make that more. But you can see the categorized ones sit below it. And then below that, you've got your paper size. You've got your standard uh, imperial, and you've got metric. And then you can control your margins. The left and right margin does those together. And then top and bottom margin controls those together. We default it to 0.75, three quarters of an inch. Those are the basic settings. All of this is free. This is included. Now there's other templates you can choose. The default template's fine, you can get pretty far with it. But if you click Add Template, you've got a whole library of templates you can pick from. Some of them are structurally different, and some of them are just 
reconfigurations of settings. So let me pick one uh, that's a little different. Not going to a two column yet. So here, let's pick this one that has these lines in the templates. So when you save the template, now that template gets added in to your templates. You can still switch and go back to other templates. The current one goes to the first slot. That way, if you have a bunch, it's always easy to get to. So here's the new one we just added. And you can see it has its own settings. Now, it will inherit some of, um, actually, no, these get overwritten as well. So if you want your dates on the right, those are, now it's saved. If you reload it and add it again, you basically make like a new copy of it. Uh, and you can load up another one. And then you can go adding them. And if you've got different ones that you like, but the template, when you load one, has its default settings for how it expects to be used. So say I do want the left, you can do that. Those are all things that are in the template. Let me go ahead and add another one. This one looks a lot like the default, one of the default Google templates. If you're a Google Docs user, it's a little different. It's got some differences. Um, but if you did want to go that route, this is something you could do. Um, you could change the accent color if you want. You know, it's got that blue by default. Um, it is two column and two column has its issues. If you are trying to get your resume to be parsed, a lot of times parsers don't handle two column well. It's still all in there. And for the most part, it's not going to affect your ability to get hired. Um, but if you are worried about parsing and all the text making its way into, um, in a parsed perspective, because you can still search a PDF. Like the test I tell people to do is open up the PDF and just click and drag. And if you can highlight it, it's all parsable text. Um, but there's no guarantees. I've, I've, I've tested on a lot of different ATSs in two column, no, regardless of how the document is structured, it is problematic. Um, hopefully over time, this gets better as people are using more and more true AI, like the teal one does an all right job. We built our own parser with AI um, to get your content in, but who knows which parsing technology, whether it's proprietary or third party ATSs are using. So use them if you'd like. I don't think it's gonna cost you the job, but just know they do come with some parsing risk. Uh, and then some templates, you know, like this one has it uh, with columns. This template doesn't support columns. So even though the setting doesn't disable, you can't do that. Now you can switch it to that or that if you'd like, uh, and you can have some of those controls. Um, but those are the, the basic settings and how you can add templates. In the design mode, ad advanced settings uh, module the, that I made, we'll go into the teal plus advanced settings of all the control that you have uh, and things like that. But that'll be for another module. But here you go, that's how you switch. You can then jump between your various templates. When you make new templates, it'll inherit your latest. Uh, but as you make changes, they aren't reverse. They don't back to all your old templates. That's one thing about the way it's built. So if you really like a template, duplicate a resume and they'll carry over for you. All right, that is the basics of templates and the presentation settings. Uh, on the next module, I will go into sections and reordering your content.